the upcoming, second stage, engine for the Russian Su-57 fighter jet could be classified as 5-plus generation, due to its increased thrust over current fifth-generation fighter aircraft engines. I would even say that this second stage engine is the 5 plus generation, slightly ahead of the fifth generation, because the specific characteristics of this engine correspond to this generation. The main thing is specific thrust, specific consumption and specific gravity, explained Yevgeny Marchikov, general designer, director of OKB, a branch of United Engine Corporation UEC, which is developing the engine. No other engine in the world produces such specific thrust. Otherwise, it makes no sense to create such powerful aircraft engines. Its lifespan is 30 to 50 years, said Yevgeny Marchikov in an interview with the Zvezda TV channel of the Russian Ministry of Defense. This is the first time a senior technical head of the project has spoken about the engine performance characteristics, though the exact numbers remain a secret. If the general director's words are to be interpreted, it means the second stage engine could be more powerful than PNW F-135 engine that powers the F-35 jet which is the only fifth generation fighter aircraft in the world operational with several countries. Videos from the Zvezda TV channel report show an engine on a test bench undergoing static tests. The thrust vectoring nozzle of the engine can be clearly discerned. That the engine is on a test bench indicates that the power plant is still under development and may be some years before it is qualified to fly on the Su-57. Currently, prototype of the Su-57 has been photographed flying with the AL-41 FP engine derived from the Su-35. A test aircraft has also been seen flying with AL-41 engine in one bay and the second stage engine in another. The Su-57 has entered serial production with the first production versions fitted with the AL-41FP engines. These aircraft are expected to enter Russian Air Force service by 2022. Production fighters from the mid-2020s onwards will be equipped with a more powerful engine known as the Izdali 30. Compared to the AL-41F1, the new power plant will have higher thrust, lower cost, and better fuel efficiency better, and less moving parts, the engine also has a fiberglass plastic IGV to reduce the aircraft's radar signature. These features, together with increased reliability and lower maintenance costs, will improve aircraft performance and reliability. The Izdali 30 was designed to be 30% less specific weight than its predecessor AL-41F1. The new engine is estimated to produce approximately 107 kN 24,054 lbf of dry thrust and 176 kN 39,556 lbf of dry thrust in the afterburner. Full-scale development began in 2011 and the engine compressor started testing in December 2014. The first test engines were completed in 2016. The new power plant is designed to be a replacement for the AL-41F1 with minimal changes to the airframe. On December 5, 2017, the second Su-57 prototype, T-52, Bort No.052, equipped with the Izdali 30 engine, first took off from the Gromov Aviation Research Institute. The 17-minute test flight was carried out by Sergei Bogdan, Suhoi's chief test pilot. The Izdali 30 engine was mounted on the left side of the engine while the AL-41F1 remained on the right side. The Izdali 30 features a new nozzle with a serrated flap compared to the conventional nozzle on the AL-41F1 nozzle. On 8 February 2018, Russian Deputy Defense Minister Yuri Borisov said that the performance of the new engine was difficult to judge, because all we had was this one flight. Everything seems normal, but, many flights will be made. As a rule, such trials take two to three years. As of 6 December 2019, Rostec conducted 16 flights of the Izdali 30 engine to check its characteristics in various flight modes, in particular, the operation of the vector jet nozzle and the oil system under negative overload. The Su-57 armament features two tandem main internal weapon bays, each approximately 4.6 meters 15.1 feet long and 1.0 meters 3.3 feet wide and two triangular trimmed gun bays protruding below. Fuselage near the wing route. Internal gun carriage maintains aircraft stealth and significantly reduces aerodynamic drag, thus maintaining kinematic performance compared to performance with external storage. The Su-57's high cruise speed is expected to substantially increase the weapon's effectiveness compared to its predecessor. Fimpel is developing two ejection launchers for the main bay, 
The UVKU-50L for missiles weighing up to 300 kg £660, and the UVKU-50U for armaments weighing up to 700 kg £1,500. For air-to-air -air combat, the Su-57 is expected to carry four out-of-visual range missiles in its two main weapon bays and two short-range missiles in the wing root weapons bay. The main medium-range missile is the active radar homing K-77M, ISDALI-180, an upgraded variant of the R-77 with an AESA seeker and conventional rear fin. The short-range missile is the infrared homing, heat-seeking, K-74M-2, ISDALI-760, an improved variant of the R-74 with a reduced cross-section for the internal carriage. A short-range clean-sheet design for the KMD Isdali 300 missile is being developed to replace the K74M2. For long-range applications, four large Isdali 810 missiles out of visual range can be carried, with two in each main weapon bay. Reportedly, the aircraft will also be able to carry long-range R37M hypersonic missiles. The main bay can also accommodate air-to-ground missiles such as the KH-38M, as well as several CAB 500-250 kg, 550 pounds, or 500 kg, 1,100 pounds CAB 500 precision bombs. The aircraft is also expected to carry developed and modified variants of the KH-35 UE anti-ship missile and KH-58 USHK anti-radiation missile. For missions that do not require stealth, the Su-57 can carry storage on six external hardpoints. Head of BrahMos Aerospace A. Shivatanu Pillai stated that it is possible to install the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile on the Su-57 FGFA derivative. A new hypersonic missile with characteristics similar to the KH-47M2 Kinzel ALBM is also being developed for the Su-57. This missile has intra-body accommodation and smaller dimensions to allow it to be carried into the Su-57's main gun bay. A new missile appears to be a derivative of the R-77, displayed during Vimpel's 70th anniversary on November 18, 2019. The new missile is roughly two-thirds the length of the R-77's 12 feet, and is thought to be designed to fit inside. The triangular wing roots are under the wing of the Su-57. It has a 30mm 9A14071K GSH-30-1, 30mm autocannon mounted internally near the right LEVCON route. The gun is the lightest in the 30mm class and weighs 50 kg, and can fire up to 1,800 rounds per minute. The gun can fire fragmentation explosive tracer shells, incendiary and armored piercings and is effective against lightly armored land, sea and air targets up to 800 meters for aerial targets and 1,800 meters for ground targets. The gun is equipped with an autonomous water cooling system, in which the water inside the barrel jacket is evaporated during operation. 